everybody, it's Cindy, that crafting lady. Welcome to my kitchen and welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. And if you're returning, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I want to share with you how I'm going to set my table for Thanksgiving. Um, I work part-time at a place called Old Fort Western, which is a living history museum here in Augusta, Maine. And um, it's a wonderful place. It's the oldest surviving wooden fort in North America. It's from 1754. If you ever get a chance to come up to Augusta, Maine, please stop by and visit. They're open um, from Memorial Day to Columbus Day usually, but you can check their website, which I will link below so that you can see what their hours are. Anyways, they have a lovely gift shop and I believe that their um, web store or their um, uh, for the gift shop will be open shortly if it's not already open and I'll make sure that that's linked below also and over the past couple of years that I've worked there I've collected a few things so this is not a budget friendly table setting but it's something that um, I've been working on collecting little by little so that I could um, have this for my Thanksgiving one year and this is the year that we're going to do it um, so I'm going to share some things with you um, on how I want my table to look for Thanksgiving. It's not one of those glamorous things, but it's going to be very pretty. It's a reproduction of a 18th century uh, table. So let's get started. So the first thing I have are the plates. I'm going to move over here so you can see me. Um, these are the plates that I've gotten from the fort, and they are redware. And redware was very popular back in the 1700s. It was something that was uh, locally available and able to be locally produced. And um, Henderson Redware in Bangor, Maine reproduces this, and we do sell this at the fort. So this is the plates we're going to be using. They come in different patterns, but I really like this floral pattern. And um, they're just beautiful quality. So we have four plates because there's going to be four of us for this Thanksgiving. It's going to be myself, my husband, my daughter, and her husband. So four plates. And I have this beautiful platter that matches my plates. And again, this is made by Henderson. And this is what my turkey is going to go on. So that's definitely going to have a prominent place on my table. Just like that. And I have some reproduction candle holders. So we will add those to the table. Let's see which way do I want them? I think facing out. Here we go. So some nice red, some nice reproduction candle holders. The candles that are in them are 100% beeswax, and they were made by me. Um, we do uh, show how candles were made in the 18th century at Old Fort Western. Uh, it's one of the things that we do while we're open um, during certain events. So I made those beeswax candles. Maybe that could be another video that I can show you um, in the future, is how I make beeswax candles here at my home. If you'd like to see that, please comment below and let me know, and I'll do it. This is a reproduction jug um, that uh, is available, again, at Old Fort Western, um, and this is going to hold some nice apple cider. And that right there. This is a batter bowl, another redware piece made by Henderson, and I think that my squash is going to end up going into this bowl. I'll put that there. And then I just have um, 
these are antiques uh, that I've been collecting over the years from some different um, antique shops and stores. So this one will be for the mashed potatoes. My family loves mashed potatoes. Now, we're not going to eat all those mashed potatoes, but um, I do, for four people, I usually do like a 25 pound bird because I like leftovers and so does my family. Um, the next day we'll have, you know, turkey sandwiches and things like that. And um, we like having our leftover um, mashed potatoes, our leftover squash, and our leftover dressing and things like that. So um, maybe some peas or corn in this one. Let's see where it can that go right there. And um, of course cranberry sauce. And another of my antique bowls will probably um, hold some green beans or something like that. I haven't decided, haven't finalized the menu yet. But there is one last thing that we have to have. Well, not one last thing. A couple things left, actually. Um, I bought these napkins um, at Michael's. They're 100% cotton, but they look amazing. I love the fact that they're just like that just slightly off and white they're not completely white and they look really nice so these i paid um well they were twenty dollars for four which definitely is not budget friendly but they were on sale when all of michael's um fall stuff went um on sale for 50 percent off so i don't think that was too bad of a price so I'll definitely have to add these to our table Gotta wipe your mouth on something, right? All that juicy turkey. There we go. Now, I don't have colonial silverware, so I will be using just my regular flatware. But um, maybe someday, hint, hint, hubby, we'll get some colonial flatware that we can use. That would be great. And of course, the piece de resistance. My pumpkin pie will go in this. So, um, this is another Redware piece, and um, this is one of the first pieces that I bought, and it makes the best deep dish pumpkin pie. And um, I don't use canned pumpkin in my pumpkin pies. Um, I buy pumpkins when they're on sale right around, you know, Halloween time and things like that, and I bake them and cook them down, and then I portion them out into two cup, pe or two cup portions and put them in freezer bags um, or put them in my um, I have a food saver and food save them and then put them in the freezer and then I can defrost them and have pumpkin pie whenever I want throughout the year so it's the best don't use the canned stuff use fresh pumpkin and you'll have a best you'll have the best pumpkin pie I'll put the link um, to my or not a link I'm sorry I'll put the recipe for my pumpkin pie in the description box and maybe you'll try it and let me know how you like it. All right, guys, that is my table for the holidays. And you know what? It really doesn't matter what's on your table for the holidays. It doesn't matter if it's expensive redware, it's melamine plates uh, from Walmart, it's paper plates from the Dollar Tree. What matters is who is around your table the memories that are made around that table and the love that is shared around that table. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate you doing so. It helps my channel grow. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload more videos. And until next video, remember to live fully love deeply, and learn something new every day. Have a wonderful and blessed Thanksgiving.